In the previous lecture, we understand how we can call a predefined function in Python. Now the time is to create our own function in Python. For example, if you want to call execute function which we learned in the previous lecture, you can just simply call execute and then specify the parenthesis. So this is the name of the function and you call that function using this parenthesis. And if the function has parameter, you can pass them in this parenthesis. Now let's take a look at how we can create our own function. So let me first explain what is function. A function is just a block of code which perform an action and return a value. Using function, you can call your code anywhere, whenever you want. Function is really a time saver for you. In the previous lecture, we understand how we can use execute, eval, and different predefined functions in Python. Now let's take a look at how to create our own function in Python. So to create own function in Python, you just need to start with define keyword. So I'm going to start here with a define keyword, just like this. So you just need to specify def define and you need to specify the name for your function. I'm going to specify name my function. So I'm going to just say here fn just like this. And I'm going to just specify parenthesis here. Once I specify the name to this function, I'm going to just specify block of this function. So here I'm going to specify colon to create a block of code. Now if you want, you can change the name of this function or specify your own name to this function. That doesn't matter. You can specify any name to the function. But keep in mind, function name must be unique. You can't create two function of the same name. So now once I have the function, let me create a body of this function. In the body of this function, I'm going to just return a string. So here I'm going to just call a keyword return. Using function, you can print something on the terminal or you can return something to the user. So the user can use that value. So here I'm going to just return a string. Hey, this is a user defined function. And now once I return something from this function down here, I'm going to call this function. So to call this function, I'm going to specify here print statement to print this string. And here I'm going to call this function. So to call the function, as you know, you just need to specify the name of the function. So here I'm going to call my function and that's it. And now when I execute the statement, you can notice I'm going to have this string as a result. Now I want to print this string on the terminal that is why I put this function in the print statement otherwise you can call this function outside of the print function as well now I use here return statement the return statement is going to return a value you can use this return statement only once in the function you can't return two values using a single function so here I'm going to return this string if I want I can return the expression as well for example if I just return 5 multiply by 5 then when I execute the statement I'm going to have the result 25 so this return statement is going to return the value of this expression. Now let me show you how you can create a function that is more than one line. So here, before this return statement, I'm going to create two variables. So I'm going to create here x is equal to 5. And then I'm going to create y is equal to 5. Now here, instead of this expression, I'm going to just say x multiply by y. So when I execute the statement, you can notice I'm going to have 25 as a result. Now you can notice I use these variables and use this expression to return the value. Now you can notice I specify my own values to these variables. Now what if you want to get the value from the user using this function? You can use parameter for that. So for example, let's say you want to get the value from the user and just return the multiplication of that value, then you can specify parameter to this function. To specify parameter, you just need to specify variables in this parenthesis. So for example, if I want to get two values from the user, I'm going to just specify here x, comma, y. Now we're not limited to only specify x and y value in this parameter. You can specify any variable name in this parameter. This is just a variable. Now I'm going to get rid of both these variables right from here. And now when I call this function, I need to pass both these values because if I try to execute this function, I'm going to get an error message because this function is now have two arguments. When you specify parameter, you need to call these parameter values when you call the function. And when you specify value to this parameter, you call them argument. So here I'm going to pass two argument, 5, comma, 5. So now this 5 specify to this x variable and this 5 specify to this y variable. When I execute the statement, I'm going to have 25 as a result. Now here you can call input statement to get the value from the user and specify that as an argument to this function. Now parameter it's just a variable used to hold the value of the variable when we call a function. This is what we call a parameter. 
I've used parameter to just hold the value. So now this x is going to hold this 5 value and this y is going to hold this 5 value. And we use this parameter to just hold these values, manipulate it and return it using this return statement. So this function is going to return the multiplication of both these values. You are free to specify any number here. That doesn't matter. Now let me show you how you can get the value from the user and specify that in this argument. So here I'm going to just create variable x is equal to input and I'm going to just specify enter x value and then I'm going to duplicate this statement just like this and create my variable here and I'm going to change this to y. Now I'm going to get the value from the user and store it in this variable and here I'm going to pass x and y just like this. So once I have these values in this variable, I'm going to pass that variable as an argument to this function. Now this function is going to return string value. So we need to first convert this string value into integer and then multiply it. So I'm going to just call integer function and in the parentheses, I'm going to pass these variables just like this. Now when I execute this file, you can notice this will just ask me to specify value for the x variable. Here I'm going to specify 10, enter and here I'm going to specify 5. When I press enter, you can notice I'm going to have result 50. A function is basically used to create different tasks. And once you create a function, you can call it anywhere in the program. So function save you a lot of time. In the next lecture, we'll talk about function parameters. So I will see you in the next one.